Well, first of all, thank you for taking the time to speak with me and congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, Tabrice, I'll start with you. Um, as I understand it, this film has been 15 years or so in the making uh, and obviously marks your directorial debut. I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit about you know, where the story came from and how your experience has been being in the director's chair for the first time. Well, that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> the, the initial spark was you know, 2003, 2004, when mm. um, I encountered this, this story about global uh, sex trafficking. Yeah. A girl from the East who was found in the West, trafficked in a container um, by a massive network of people yeah. um, who now f basically contribute towards the most profitable black market business in the world. Um, and that started a long journey for me, uh, working with the NGOs, initially just to get authenticity, to find out exactly what happened, because we wanted the writers to have all the information. And I got sucked in, I got sucked into the cause, uh, to working with the NGOs, yeah. um, being on raids, rescuing girls, working with them in rehab. Wow. And through all those stories came a Love Sonia. Yeah. Um, being in the director's chair was, it was a very natural transition for me. You know, I, direct, I directed commercials before, mm -hmm. yep. music videos, and lots of second unit on a few of the films. Um, and I feel like being a line producer on the other films and having seen, you know, Danny on Slumdog or, or Ang yeah. on Life of Pi yeah. or Catherine on Zero Dark Thirty, it, it helped me because I learned something from each one of them. Yeah. Um, and I had a fantastic uh, crew and I had, an amaz I had amazing actors mm -hmm. and I'd always learned to be open as a director yeah. and I feel like all of them, every one of them basically contributed something to the part, to the script yeah. and we talked about everything and so literally it was, you know, it takes a village and I don't care where an idea comes from. Mm -hmm. But if it's a good idea, yeah. you want to use it, and you want to be, and I think that's the way we approach the whole film. Yeah, yeah, sure. And 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 Richa, you, your character obviously plays a very important role in the film, um, and in kind of preparing to play a character kind of embroiled in that that dark world of human trafficking. You know, what kind of research and preparation did you do for the role? I met a lot of real girls who were either still actively working in oh, wow. the yeah. in the industry, or who, those who had given up and were able to escape. Um, and I feel like this was the most sanitized version we put out there because it gets too difficult to watch otherwise. Yeah. And uh, the girls I interviewed and met and researched with, they were um, meeting them has changed me forever because it's not something I can undo or unsee or unhear. Their stories, their accounts, I couldn't believe for the longest time that human beings would do this to each other, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. so did it change your kind of perception or what you thought you knew about yeah, the world of human I knew nothing, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. I knew nothing because one would hear that, oh, one girl got kidnapped from a railway station. Mm -hmm. You know, these are not stray incidents. You understand that the nexus is so strong. It is not possible for it to exist without any kind of political support or yeah. without the authorities turning a blind eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, that really shook me, you know. Yeah. I felt really, where would you go? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and Tabriz, just back to you. Um, as I guess with any film kind of dealing with uh, very sensitive but also very important subject matter such as this, I guess there's always a, a concern about not wanting to exploit the exploited yeah. but equally not want to water things down too much. Yeah. I was just wondering for, for something like Love, Sonia, how did you kind of approach that and resolve that? Yeah, that was one of the biggest challenges. Yeah. Um, and I went back and forth with the writers in different drafts where a lot of it was too much, some of it, and each time we we pull back, we realize that these are girls that you know that we know they've been through it. There's no way we can water it down, yeah. um, because as much as and so the truth is, a lot of the traffic girls read the script, mm -hmm. um, you know, and we got there okay. So in the editing process, you realize that you needed very little, um, as long as you showed enough of what they went through, yeah. and also the performances were so good. So when when an audience member is going by the way that they're reacting, you're done, you're good. Yeah. Um, because a lot of the time, you know, the imagination is so much more powerful mm -hmm. uh, than showing the visual. A couple of films were made about this in India and they had actual teenagers cast. Yeah. Well, now there's 26, you know, mm -hmm. it makes it easier, sort of more palatable. Yeah. But in the other films, I 
couldn't watch them because at some point you don't know where to draw the line if they they are just right. trying to shock you into sure, to yeah. taking action yeah, yeah. or is it gratuitous you don't know mm-hmm. so i think that was a really big concern for me when i started filming yeah. this yeah. and i'm good now yeah and just final question um how do you hope this film's going to be received and what are the kind of messages that you hope viewers will will take away with them well it, it did open in india yeah, and didn't sure. do very well box office wise oh, okay. because i think we were not just not ready as a yeah. country to yeah. to see this you know sort of uh, reality and to see it in the face and to understand okay that girl who whose poster was at the bus stop is mm-hmm. probably ended up in a brothel you don't want yeah. to acknowledge that sure. and uh, but i think we were having this chat in the morning and um and he told me that he he would rather have made a film that has legs about something that he feels mm-hmm. passionately about and i think a film is a medium like such it's not a play that you watch and then you know you're looking for it again this yeah. film is out there absolutely If somebody wants to make a change they can always watch it and then feel inspired by it to do something like yeah. i was permanently i had experienced a, a shift after doing this yeah. film right okay well again thank you very much thank and you. congratulations thank on the film thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank you thank you